now if uh, f of x is greater than m uh, so f of x in the value uh, here in the case of the minimum of f of x l of x um, that will be the l of x value uh, so therefore uh, we can say that uh, again minus m uh, this minimum uh, will always lie between minus m and m so therefore you will have minus m less than or equal to h of x less than or equal to f um, m so provided if you uh, define uh, h of x in this manner so if h of x is defined to be uh, the minimum of um, f of x and l of x so the number can do uh, uh, h less than or equal to f i can so you can see that h will always lie between minus m and m so therefore h will be bound in uh, f um, uh, measurable function on other l um number uh, bounded measurable function at the uh, in the minimum of uh, two measurable functions is again measurable and the measurable function the properties in other uh, kind of so here uh, h is minimum of f and l um, so both are uh, measurable functions so minimum measurable functions is again measurable so h is measurable on. so h is less than or equal to f on uh, bounded on and uh, measurable on so uh, that is um, the function of the desired form so, um, integral of non-negative function defines an ingenita h and the bounded measurable uh, function h and the so h is uh, of that form so we will have h less than or equal to f and it is bounded and measurable in, uh, similarly we have defined k as uh, l of x minus h of x of h plus uh, k will be equal to l in, uh, we know that l is uh, arbitrary bounded measurable function such that l is less than or equal to f plus c l is less than or equal to f plus c at and define the other one that is all that we have to do h we have to do h bounded measurable function on h is less than or equal to f plus um, g uh, so by this we have to k bounded arikim. So, uh, L is uh, equal to uh, H plus K and this will be less than or equal to um, F plus G. Um, now, H we know that H is less than or equal to F. Uh, so, if you need to have L less than or equal to F plus G, K must be less than or equal to uh, G. So, um, K less than or equal to G are you know? In the um, L um, H um, uh, bounded measurable on L um, H um, bounded measurable on angle and the difference on the K verna. So K will be also uh, bounded and measurable. So we have K less than or equal to G and K is bounded measurable. Uh, so by definition of a bounded measurable uh, function of integral over E uh, L and the arena is that. L and R in H plus K and so that will be integral over E H plus integral over E K. Now this will be less than or equal to supreme over all such uh, H. So uh, E integral no R in less than or equal to supreme over H dash plus uh, supreme over uh, K dash. Now supreme of this will be integral F and supreme of this supreme will be integral g me uh, e uh, either less than or equal to super american and on the uh, left side it will be true for any arbitrary l so ella nammalo l nu parnirikkana arbitrary bounded measurable function aanu such that l is less than or equal to f plus g so it must hold for um, any such arbitrary l angane anengi supremothinum adu true aayirikkum uh, so, supreme over L less than or equal to F plus G uh, integral over, uh, sorry, F plus G. Uh, uh, so, on the left side, uh, this becomes integral uh, L in the uh, bottom. Um, so, this must be, sorry, not, not G. This must be actually F. Uh, sorry, this must be actually L. Okay. 
So supreme over L is than or equal to L plus G integral L must be less than or equal to this. In e integral no array no by definition uh, that will be integral F plus G. So we will get integral F plus G less than or equal to integral F plus integral uh, G. So we have proved in the other way greater than or equal to number can show. Uh, so therefore um, combining both we will get integral over e F plus G equal to uh, integral F uh, plus integral G. The third uh, result we need to um, show that is so if f is less than or equal to g almost everywhere then we need to show that integral over e is less than or equal to uh, integral over e uh, g. Uh, so uh, let us uh, consider um, uh, function uh, h uh, bounded measurable function h such that h is less than or equal to f. So if um, h is a bounded measurable function such that uh, h is less than or equal to f uh, then so now uh, we have f less than or equal to uh, g or most everywhere uh, so uh, if h is less than or equal to uh, f then h will be less than or equal to uh, g almost everywhere. Uh, now uh, we will have uh, integral over e uh, h less than or equal to integral over e g. Now this must hold for uh, all supremum also. So this must be true for uh, supremum over h less than or equal to f integral over e h. So that must be less than or equal to integral over e uh, g. Now uh, supreme over h less than or equal to uh, f integral over f uh, no that will be uh, integral over uh, f. So you will get integral over f less than or equal to integral over uh, e g. So we have here supremum. For e integral no, uh, supreme value no, right, no, that will be integral f. So we will obtain uh, integral f less than or equal to integral g.